What is up guys? It's your boy Tax, back with another video on Monday, and I'm gonna share with you today one of the secrets that I've found of how to get gigs and how to how to book weddings, you know, quinceaneras, parties on Facebook Marketplace. And this is a secret, kind of like a loophole that I've found. Um, and it really works. Like, I've had probably 50 people message me in the past two weeks. And so I'm gonna share this with you guys because why the heck not? I, I know that there's a lot of other struggling DJs out there. And it, this is also for photographers, videographers, anyone who's trying to market their freelance business and get gigs through Facebook Marketplace, which is just one of many marketing channels that you can go through online to, to market your business. Um, so we're gonna get into that after this. All right, so before we hop into the computer and I show you how this is done, if you guys are new here, like and subscribe this video if you find any value from it. And uh, I'll be offering DJ advice for producing and just how to market yourself as a DJ and as a business to get money from it, which is what we all need in life. So um, without further ado, let's hop into the freaking video. All right, we are in the computer now. It's kind of funny. We uh, I recorded the whole video and uh, it wasn't even a recording, so I'm doing this for the second time. But uh, we're gonna go on Google, we're gonna go to your Facebook. And once we get in there, we're gonna go over here and click on, or if you have just Marketplace linked, we're gonna go to Facebook Marketplace. So um, this is something that I've been doing, guys, and uh, it's worked pretty well for me. And um, I'll, I'll show you right here, like these are ones that I've done. Um, you know, here on this one alone, 21 people have messaged me. On this one, 11 people, um, you know, three people, and then these older ones I've had um, here. Uh, th it's been pretty successful for me. And here's something that uh, you might see when, if you try to do this, and if you do it the wrong way, you'll see that there's issues with this product or that it's you put it on there twice or uh, some kind of error and it'll also pop up in your notifications. But basically what you guys are trying to do is get your name out there, that you're a DJ, you have services, and there's a specific way you have to do it because Facebook will just flag it and they'll take it down. So let's try this out with something I haven't done. Um, for the category, you uh, so you click sell something, you go to the category, you click, I like to do miscellaneous because that's kind of, you know, I like to think that they put that category. If you if someone searches DJ or anything, if it's in miscellaneous, then it'll just pop up because um, it could be anything, you know. Put a price, you know, you could put your hourly rate or I just like to put some random number, you know. Um, let's just put 80. Oh, sorry guys, that's the price right here. Right here is what are you selling? So this is something that you gotta think about what you put. Like I put a uh, birthday DJ rental, DJ rental. Um, you can't really say like DJ services. Like for example, if you see that, they will flag that and take that down. You can't say professional services. You can't say photography services, wedding services, wedding DJ. You can't say any of those things. So you gotta kind of test it. I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna say, how about wedding? Like I'm pretty sure I've tried wedding DJ rental before and they flagged that. So how about, let's try party DJ rental. DJ rental is like the most general term you can use that people understand. It's still good grammar and they'll get it um, without being having it getting taken down like I've tried using like a uh, disc jockey rental I don't know I've tried a lot of stuff they've taken it all down so you gotta just kind of test stuff that's like the trickiest part right there because down here you just say uh, please read picture number two smiley face all right and there's a reason for that it's because Facebook scans all the words that you say in the description. So that is kind of the biggest loophole is you want to type that out on a Word document or on some kind of 
you know, super organized picture and take a screenshot of it. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here. Um, you don't have to put your city. I like to put the biggest city around me. Um, you know, I have them actually ads in all cities surrounding me, but Salt Lake City. So the first picture you want to put is something kind of like what setup that you have, the equipment that you have to offer. Make sure it's you actually have that equipment. Um, you know, we have truss, facades, moving lights, and these speakers. So um, next picture, this is what you have to custom make, basically. And uh, I'll pull that up bigger so you can see it. But I'm also going to add just like some pictures of the gear we have, like my DJ players and mixer, as well as um, I said party. So I'm going to add a party picture. I do a lot of college parties and a picture of me DJing so they can kind of see what I look like. So um, the reason I did on the second picture is because this first picture you want to be the one that grabs their attention and the reason why they click on you basically. Um, and uh, maybe I can see here. I'll just try to post it. So make sure the most important thing is it's on marketplace but it you also i recommend to join groups within wherever you live you know um because that's just additional marketing and it's free so utah yard sale sure uh, utah classified salt lake city classified sure you don't want to put like home renting or apartments for sale because you will get kicked out of those groups you want to be a little considerate as to like the category um main thing is that it's on the marketplace so let's try okay <laughs> so here's okay i'm glad i did this actually because this is uh one of the flags that it'll give you okay so i guess party dj rental doesn't work so either that or i've already posted it before it does look like this is the same picture so let's see what it says looks like you already posted this item okay so it's not the wording it is, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, it's not the wording, it's the picture. So let's do this real quick again, okay? So, you know, miscellaneous. Yeah, I mean, it is hard, it, it is a loophole, but it, that's a good thing. If you think about it, no one can do this, it's hard to do, which means there's not gonna be a lot of other DJs doing this, and you are gonna get value out of it. Um, so let's just say rent, rent a DJ. And I understand, guys, it's not super grammatical. Um, I think I already have the one, so I'm going to say rent your DJ. Um, I understand it's uh Oh, no, sorry. I'm stupid. All right, I'm going to say the same thing. Because it wasn't the word that was the problem. It was the pictures this time. But um, a lot of the ones, the ads I have, they aren't super grammatical because you have to do that in order for it to allow you um, to post it in the first place. So keep that in mind. Uh, please read second pick. My face. All right. So I already posted that picture, I guess. So I'm gonna try something else. You know what? Let's just go with this one because that is a party picture, I guess. And uh, this is for parties. So here we go. Here's the Facebook ad. I'll show you guys after I post it what that looks like. And I'll just post some pictures that I haven't done before that are, uh, I mean, you can, I think you can do like one or two that are maybe like in a different ad, but you do have to be careful. See, like that is different than that one. All right, let's try this. Um, yeah, sure, Utah. Okay, so if this works, what you'll see is no error. You'll see it go, all right, it looks good so far. I'm not looking at any error up here. And what you'll want to do is refresh it too. Okay, looks like it's good. Looks like they allowed that, that's good. So let's click, I'll show you what I did. So this is the ad, guys. Have a wedding, school dance, or any other kind of event. Do it with the experienced industry standard professionals, yada, yada, say what you offer. Put some contact information. You know, I say at the bottom, 
much more, give us a call. All prices are negotiable. Because, guys, the people who are scouring Facebook Marketplace for a wedding DJ or an event DJ or whatever probably don't have a lot of money to spend. But this will give you a lot of gigs. Um, so another thing that I do, right when someone messages me, I say, hey, let me give you a quick call and we can talk about pricing or whatever. Or I say, let me send you an email. And I'll show you kind of like an email that I already have going. Um, I have a canned response, which is basically as soon as I compose an email, I just do this canned response and boom, it inserts a wedding quote, uh, you know, right here. And it just set, has everything written out, has it attached. All I do is put in their name, which is really nice. If you guys would like to see how to do that in a tutorial, please comment and tell me. I would love to show you guys how to do that. And uh, like and subscribe if you're into this video as well and if you're getting value from this. So all I do is put that in there, bam, put in their name and it says, you know, we're excited to work with you. You got to act like you already have the job always. Um, because that is just, that's kind of a business technique. I learned at business school actually, but it, it makes them think like, oh yeah, we're already working together. And uh, they eventually are like, all right, I'm going to go with you. Um, you attach these wedding packages. This is something that I made on the side. You know, I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It has an introduction packages, you know, starting at 850, going all the way to 1800, which is pretty good pricing for where I live. Um, and then, you know, I have our executive contacts and then prior stuff that we've done. I do a lot of college parties, but it gets the point across that we're professional. And that's the most important thing that they can see that you're a professional, even though you're on Facebook marketplace marketing yourself. So um, I always say, you know, if any of these packages are out of your ideal budget, which more likely than not, they will be for a Facebook marketplace user. Um, but that's when you just call them and you work something out. But if it's not, then you have a good high paying gig, you know, in that price range. So there it is, guys. Pretty simple. You know, you do that for the surrounding cities. People will be messaging you, especially if you look, your ad pictures look clean and it looks like you're professional. Um, if you guys found value in this, definitely throw a like, do that bell on the subscribe or whatever. I'm going to be making more videos about how to how to either producing tips or how to market yourself as a DJ to earn money. And, uh, you know, if there's something that you'd like to see me do, then uh, comment and I would love to show you guys how to do that. But other than that, we will see you guys next Monday.